Hey everybody, I'm here today with a very quick video. Um, this was important enough that I stopped, took a break from painting up my, my Kickstarter, which I don't really want to talk about in this video. Uh, I will have links, but what's more important to talk about today is something that I've been seeing literally for like the last almost year. And I kept thinking to myself, maybe I should make a video, maybe I should make a video. Never got around to it. And then recently I've seen even a couple more posts about this, um, not about this directly, but when people are asking for help or people are sharing settings, one thing I've noticed is, and I, I understand this having you know been in this camp myself a little bit, and here I'm gonna, as you know in a lot of my videos, I go against what's conventional wisdom, but not just to be crazy, but because based on you know experience. Uh, what I've been seeing over the last year when people share settings, post settings, or ask questions is extremely high a uh, number of bottom layers and bottom exposure time. So, Greg, why are you wasting our time talking about this? We all know higher is better. We want to fail less. Like, you know, it's one thing to get extreme with supports and try not to damage models, but reducing bottom layers or bottom, bottom exposure time, I'm just going to expose more people to getting failures, right? But I, I, it's time. It's time to make this video and talk about it. So again. As I always say, I don't want to get too sciencey, but I had made another video where I talked about LCD screens in general, and this even does apply to the mono screens, although not as much, but it applies. Uh, without getting too sciencey, there's a liquid crystal substrate, which is organic material um, in your LCD screen, and even in the mono screens, even though it's, it's monochromatic. And the UV light uh, degrades that substrate, and Heat also degrades that substrate. So heat and light, bad for your LCD screens, right? So if you think about it, when, when is your LCD screen exposed to the most heat and the most light? Bottom layers, because the, the screen on time is incredibly high compared to when you're running your normal exposures. And your screen off time relatively is incredibly low. So again, not too sciencey, but part of the reaction of resin uh, transforming from liquid to solid, uh, you know, in, involves some heat transfer. And if you've ever, as I've done, you know, put on your your uh, nitrile glove and stick your hand into the vat right when a print is done, even because you're at a failure or you want to check if anything was stuck or anything like that, then what you've noticed is the resin is actually pretty hot. So you've got the resin, which retains heat, okay? You've got the light itself, which is creating heat, the reaction creating heat, and the light itself, which is degrading the LCD screen. So the longer that light is on and the hotter your resin gets, the more damage you're doing to your screen. So although some people will tell you, look, you know, go ham on your bottom layers because more adhesion is better. You don't want failure. So you always want to err on the side of going like way too big. But I, I've seen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post some examples of what I've seen. I've seen people with a ridiculous amount of bottom layers that they don't need and a ridiculous amount of cure time. You can theoretically, and I've even talked to some manufacturers about this who said they've had this happen from customers. People literally burn out their screen on their bottom layers. Like I saw, I saw someone post once who had something like eight layers at 150 seconds. I mean, that one or two prints like that, you might destroy your screen. Okay, so, so what we need to talk about today is you, you want your bottom layer settings, obviously, you want adhesion. You don't want it to fail ever. So it's okay to go a little overboard, but you don't want to go insane on your bottom layers. And this I don't know from my own experience, but I have heard from some manufacturers saying that actually if your exposure time for your bottom layers gets to be too high, too long, you can actually kind of burn those layers into your FEP and actually end up sticking to your FEP instead of the plate, which is the opposite of what we want and again, I don't have any personal experience with this because I've never had bottom layers that insanely high in terms of exposure, but they tell me this could happen. So it's not even necessarily safer to be overexposing those bottom layers. So as a general rule, what do we want? What I normally use on all my printers is I use uh, anywhere from five to six times my normal exposure time as my bottom exposure time. And 
on all my printers, and I've now had, I think I've used 11 or 12 different resin printers from five, maybe even six different manufacturers. I only use four bottom layers now. I, I think when I first started, I used like maybe eight, and then I think I went down to six, but now I use four and everything sticks. Like four bottom layers, in my opinion, is enough. Uh, especially if you're doing miniatures like I do. Maybe, maybe I'll give you, if you're doing some kind of big, heavy, like tank object or something that fills up the whole plate, maybe you want to go six layers, I guess even possibly eight. But so I'd like for people to respond and let me know what they do because I've printed some pretty big terrain pieces now, including on my Phenom, I printed a huge dice tower, which I put pictures of on Facebook. Maybe I'll link it here. The pieces are huge. And on the Phenom, with all that peel force uh, and, and, and suction from that huge build plate, I still only did four bottom layers. Uh, and still only on, on bigger pieces like that, I think I did six times my normal exposure. But like when I'm running, like right now, my Sonic Mini 4K or my Epax X1K or my regular Sonic Minis, uh, when I'm running two second exposures, I'm literally running only 10 max 12 seconds on my bottom layer exposure. I see people posting with these new printers and I see their bottom exposures at 25 seconds. That, like, I don't, I don't think there's any reason for anyone to use double what you actually need. So, you know, I'm not running out there. I don't want everyone now like reduce their bottom exposures and bottom layers and tell me I, I had them cause failures. So you can, you can dial back on your individual printers and see where you're at. But again, just my anecdotal evidence, and I'd like people to really chime in here. I'm literally on all my different printers only using four bottom layers. And usually it's at five, max six times my normal exposure time. So worst case, I want you at least, and I see other people also relative to this, I see people posting that they can't get their prints off the, off the plate because the adhesion's too good. They're like chipping them off and, you know, you know hammering them off because they're stuck because they're overexposing them. When I do uh, this formula of just five to six times my, my normal exposure for my bottom layers, uh, I can, I remove my prints from the plate really easily. Uh, like when I, people have said when they use my flat base printing style, some people are complaining, oh, I break the, I break the bases getting them off or I have to chip them off. When I do them, I take a razor blade and I kind of insert a little bit, the base just pops off because I'm not putting my bottom exposure time twice as high as it should be. So, you know, I'm just throwing doubts there. I know there's a lot of new people into resin printing and I see the advice flying around from everyone. You know, I've seen people with like eight bottom layers, you know, like 75 seconds or normal photon. And I've seen people tell them, hey, pump that up 10 layers, 90 seconds. Like I've seen advice, which to me is bad. It's just gonna be burning out LCD screens. And when people are failing and things are not sticking to the FEP, from what I see, it's almost never their bottom exposure settings and their bottom layers. Usually when it's not sticking, it's because they haven't leveled properly. I mean, I guess you get the rare person who has like bottom, bottom exposure, like 10 seconds on something or eight seconds on like a regular old tech machine and they're just using the wrong settings. But for the most part, when people post and things are sticking to their FEP, their bottom settings actually look fine to me or even overblown. And so usually it means the, the problem is actually leveling or maybe room temperature, a bunch of things. It's usually not bottom layers and bottom exposure. So I would like to see people not burning out their LCD screens and costing themselves money. And, and possibly even, like some people say, if you do it too much, it actually could lead to failures. So, so let's, I want people to try, if you're, if you're one of those people who's totally overexposing your, your bottom and totally have way too many layers, it, do me a favor, experiment with a, a small model, do four bottom layers and, and put it six times to start, if you're way up higher, do six times your normal exposure time and see what you get. And if that works well, uh, reduce that to five times your normal layer exposure time for your bottom layers. And I think you'll be better off and I think you'll save yourself money in the long run because you won't be burning out your, your screens by uh, heating them up too much and exposing them to too much light. So again, I do want people to weigh in, please, on the comments and, and let me know your experiences and what you guys use for your number of bottom layers and your bottom layer exposure to see if we can start to help the community dial in practically speaking on what really works 
uh, you know, for the majority of people without, you know, overexposing everything. So that's it. I just wanted to, I just, I've just been seeing what I consider a lot of bad advice flying around on forums recently. And I thought this is finally a time to make this video uh, to correct that misconception that bottom layers, more bottom layers and more time is just better. I mean, in a lot of ways, I actually think it's worse. So that's it. Hope you learned something today. Uh, please like, please subscribe, uh, check out my other videos. Uh, there's so many videos I want to make still more on like on educational stuff like this so we can all hopefully understand our machines better and get to better results. Also, I started a Facebook group, which I'll link, which has, it's just for resin 3D printing. Um, and there's no advertisements allowed at all. Not even for me, not from anyone. I think we all need an ad free place where we can have tips, tricks, advice, and help for resin 3D printing without, and I love all my artists, by the way, I love the Patreons. I like to advertise myself in some stuff for my Kickstarter, but we need a place where you can go and don't see any ads. Like just go and get information, go and get help. If you want to post your makes or post your prints and paints, that's fine there. It's just, and again, I apologize to all my friends who are artists and have Patreon and stuff. Don't come there and advertise your Patreon. That's not what we want. Uh, it's really just so people can get help with their uh, resin 3D printing. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed and uh, happy 3D printing.